Hey man, what's good YouTube? Today I'm gonna show y'all boy how to find all the minor key levels. Cause in my recent video I just showed you how to find all the major key levels, but in this one I'm gonna show y'all boy how to find all the minor key levels in the market when it comes to forex trading, crypto trading, or stock trading. But without further ado, you already know what to do. Let's go to the trade view. You know what I'm saying? No fucking count. When it comes to finding the minor key levels, what I'm gonna use in this video, we're gonna use trend lines, we're gonna follow the price action, we use special indicators. Then we use certain time frames. Now, what I mean by certain time frames, I mean the daily, the four hour, and the one hour. Because these are just the minor key levels. When we're using the major key levels, we'll start on the monthly and work our way down to the weekly, then daily. When we come to minor key levels, you want to already have your monthly and weekly grafted. And you want to just start grafting trend lines on the day chart. What I mean by trend line, I mean these little blue things right here. That's what you would call a trend line. All right, so this is Bitcoin on a day chart. So we're gonna see if we can find anything that's out of the ordinary, like support, resistance, any of that. Now this right here, this seems like a local top because it's a day chart, a little red, a little red candle right here. We're gonna zoom out so we can find any more. Okay, so we can say this 24, this 24,000 range, that look like a pretty good range. This would be a great resistance because support, it's when the, there's a pause and a downtrend. Resistance when there's a pause and an uptrend. So right now we're grafting our resistance right here. I think the resistance will be right up here somewhere. I don't think we're going to do too much outside of that range. Now we're going to see if we can find a good support. We got the resistance. Now we see if we can find some good support. All right, so this right here, this looks like a great support. Could look like once it falls through this, it's going to start crashing. Then it consolidated and went right back up. So right here, I draw a support boss. Right here. Alright, that yeah, yeah, yeah. That look like a great support boss. Cause see it broke through support. Then it like right here. Like it hit that bitch one down, hit that bitch one down, then when it passed up and that next candle bar was inside of there, kept going up. So yeah. I believe this is a great resistance. This is a good support. So we already got that graph. Okay. Now that we got our major support and our major resistance grafted on the daily time frame, we can see we can just find anything that we can use the little trend lines for, like some small last support resistance. Like this right here, a random ass, we could draw a trend line just because it hit this. It hit this about three times. So I say that's a good touch because it might come back to this. Then we could say this right here, right below it. We could say another time frame below it. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go to the four hour time frame and we see if we can find some other shit that we can grab. We got trend lines, price action, indicators, and we got certain time frames we gotta use, but we're using the time frame right now and the next time frame we get the four hour. All right, so when you go to the lower time frame, you should be able to see patterns more accurately when it comes to trading. Like this right here, I would, I wouldn't do anything in this range unless I grab something like right here. Like this would be a small, like a real small, real small, like let's say Bitcoin breaks down. It probably just gonna hit this and it probably gonna go through it, but it's gonna hit this and just gonna pause just for a little second. Cause like I said, this is a minor level. When they hit the minor levels, it don't always reverse. When it normally hit the minor levels like this, that means the price is exhausted and it's gonna like pause for a little minute. And if it does reverse, you're gonna reverse from like the one minute time frame to the five minute time frame. It won't even make it to the one hour reversal. But as you can see, when we grabbed it on the day chart, the chart looks the same on the four hours. See on the day chart, it hit this and it went down. Day chart, hit this and it went down. And then, like I said, when it went up, it went up, broke it and it consolidated for a little minute and it came back down to hit our, our range that we had drew. Then it crashed all the way up. It did crash and went all the way up. And it consolidated at the top, went up, another candlestick closed above it, and it started going up even more. And we've seen this on a four hour, but we grabbed it all on a day chart. That was said it is important to find the minor key levels. It's important to find the major key levels. It's really important to find all support resistance levels when it comes to trading the markets. Now, all right, next example we're going to use, we're going to use some Tesla. Tesla. All right, so this is Tesla on the day chart. So, you know. You know, just a pretty downtrend. Like I said, we could always zoom out on a monthly, but no, 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 no. We just look for some minor key frames. Honestly, look like we got one right here on a day chart. See, it look like it stopped right here. Now, honestly, I'm gonna draw a box. I'm gonna draw a box right here because it turned the same spot 
It was once support, and then it turned into resistance further along. I'll probably do a small that way, just like that. Not too crazy, but y'all can see why I drew that just now because you see it came up right here. It was support went all the way through that bitch went up resistance, resistance, resistance. So honestly, I'm expecting some sort of pullback just by looking at this right now. We're gonna go ahead and graph this little bottom right here. I wouldn't draw a rectangle because it looked like you keep on doing lower lows. I'm gonna do some shit like that. We do some shit like that because it's the only time it hit that. Do some shit like that. And this is the daily time frame. And let's see if we can find something else. I think this looks like one. We're gonna go to the four hour to help confirm it. That's why I say we got other. We have other time frames to use. We don't just have to look at the damn day time frame, the four hour. We got other shit we can use to make sure you're way more accurate. You get the sniper entries in the market. So this right here, we'll also graph this right here. This would be a great trend line. Let me show y'all why I grabbed it. Right, so back in the day, right over here, it broke through. You know what I'm saying? And it went right back up. So it like it just tested it. Okay, boom. Just right here. It was up. It looked like it had paused for a minute and then it gapped down. Then it hit this little line and it went back up, tested it, and went through. Then in this whole range it consolidated and used that as the floor. And it went up, hit this, went down, paused for a little minute. Then it broke through, came back up. I use this as a resistance and then it began to fall through so yeah i believe this is a great support and resistance because it was both at the time so that's why i said this is a minor key level if it's a minor key level it could be used as resistance and support on a lower time frame so i say this is a good minor key level but now we're gonna get into the indicators that i suggest that y'all use when it comes to finding minor key levels I'm gonna let y'all know, you can't just use indicators straight up and it's not 100% accurate. It's like a clickbait ass name, but it works for me. And the indicator that I'm talking about, I believe it's called a previous, it's called a previous day, week, and low. You know what I'm, I'm gonna show y'all how to say this and how I do this. But first one to go, you wanna click that, click the little setting button. I put this on 500. That I do one, keep these the same, keep that one, and I keep this a 20. Then I click OK. Now, I don't know the philosophy behind this down. I don't know the philosophy behind this indicator at all. But I do use it because as you see, it graphed this line before us, and we have already graphed it. Like we already graphed this line, and they still graphed it for us. That's why I use it just to look and see what the hell it be talking about because. These are indicators that are man-made, like somebody made this indicator, so of course that could be 100% accurate, unless he updated 24-7. But you know, we still appreciate what my man did because the levels are still hitting. Like you see right here, hit this level, he would've bought in, boom. Hit this level, you know, so boom, you know what I'm saying? Like you got UT levels. Same down here, like I said, it's really off and on. Like right here, hit this, boom, went down. Cause like I said, it's supposed to graph the daily high, the daily low, the weekly high, the weekly low, and the monthly high, monthly low. That's what it's supposed to graph. But you know, this is the one hour, and all these graphs, nigga, that shit don't even make sense. But I would say you can use this. I like using it sometimes. I don't use it all the time, but it does help when it comes to finding like major trend lines, like shit like this. It will help. It will help. Just another random ass indicator that can work. But chart patterns now we see we can find some chart patterns when we're looking for chart patterns we're gonna go to the down uh, spot <clears throat> all right so this is the spot we're currently looking at the hour chart but we're gonna go to the daily chart and we're gonna zoom that bitch out to see what's pop all right so spot okay this range right here i can already see this this just looks like right here right here we're going to draw this off the hip off the rip just something like that and i think this is a pretty good range guy okay? you can see i'm up oh, but god damn, i hate when that shit happened but as you can see it's not a hundred percent accurate but it looks pretty damn good you see consolidated in this range failed went up consolidated broke through went up oh hold on. i think i know how to make this range a little bit better what that shit about? all right there yes okay so yeah we're gonna see this because this could be like supply and demand range Hit this bitch fall, hit this bitch fall, hit this bitch fall, hit this bitch fall. So what you think gonna happen now that it's in this bitch? 
and more than likely gonna fall. And like I said, this is spawn deadly time frame. Then we go to the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, it's also looking like it's finna fall. We are gonna see if we can find some chart patterns. And honestly, cause like I said, it's the weekend right now, so we can see what we can do. But it look like I can draw a trend line from like the bottom of something. It look like something like that will work, but we're gonna see. We're gonna god damn my head when that shit happen. We're gonna try to make this shit work though. God damn. I think this would be a good trend line when it comes to spot. So spot, I believe this shit will hit. It'll keep on falling down. It'll probably hit like this 408 range. Cause look, I'm looking at this time frame right here. I believe that the weekly, I have to believe that this is the weekly high when the indicator is orange, but we can check that real quick. Yup, so it says weekly high right here when the indicator is orange. Like I said, that might not be exactly correct because how is this a weekly high and the weekly right here? But this is a key level. Cause like I said, I don't know exactly how they do the levels for that indicator, but this right here, it is a key level. Cause right here it says it, then it come back right here and it does hit it. So I guess that is somewhat important. But spot, I believe that shit gonna keep falling and hit it down. But really, that's really all it is when it comes to finding support resistance at minor key levels. You just wanna start on a daily time frame. You wanna work your way down to make sure you get the best and the best sniper entries but you already know make sure you're in the latest and we out this video subscribe and like for more